again, strap in. We're doing more fucking paintings. This one's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles painting. Well, it's not. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle singular one of painting. Um, and Cerebus the Aardvark, but he won't really show up properly until a bit later on. You might have seen me working on a sketch of this in a recent podcast episode if you watch everything I do. Um, and it's now now it's time to paint the fucking thing. So that's green. All greens. For these greens, I tried to add in quite a bit of like blues and turquoises and some ochre, yellow ochres, and then white to highlight it and such, uh, to give a little bit of variation in tone across the skin and such um, of Mr. Turtle Man. And some yellow, 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 yellow green for his turtle chest there. Um, I don't know if, if the variations in tone show up in the final piece necessarily, but I know they're there. And now we collectively know that they are there. So that's something. Browns for the wraps and such leather, leather hide wraps on his hands. Um, because this isn't just a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and Cerebus the Aardvark painting. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and Cerebus the Aardvark as barbarians painting, as asked for by the person who commissioned it. Um, there's, uh, uh, I think the guy who commissioned this has commissioned many other artists to paint and draw similar uh, things or something on the same theme. Um, and I took a, a little look at them and they, uh, a lot of them were sort of more Conan-esque barbarians with helmets and carved swords and axes and more refined weaponry and armour and such. Um, but I wanted my barbarians to be a bit more sort of savage badlands kind of uh, barbarians rather than um, warrior types, you know. So we've got leather wraps and furs and, and um, the, the Toytles battle axes a lot more raw and rugged, more or less just a stick with an, uh, an axe head stuck on the end. And, uh, you know, skull necklaces and things. Uh, savage, savage barbarian. Uh, not necessarily caveman, but, you know, that sort of vibe. There's the axe head. Oh, oh it's getting exciting now. Details on the shell and the, and the, and the stuff. It's getting there. Sooner or later, I'll... All right now, <laughs> work on Cerebus, the aardvark, mandaloo, do uh, grey because he's grey. Um, but I did put in uh, sort of browns, mixed browns into the grey, sort of uh, raw and burnt umbers um, to look a bit more dirty and earthy as opposed to the axe head, which, as I've said before, I add a little blue into the grey to give it a little bit more of a metallic kind of look to it. Um, so it does differentiate it from the, the grey of the axe head to the grey of Cerebus's fur or flesh or whatever the hell it is he's covered in. Uh, and so we layer and layer and layer the greys on Cerebus. Uh, Cerebus typically has like a tuft, a tuft of hair upon his head uh, but I try to give him slightly more longish hair a little bit more Conan like just to make him you know a bit more sort of uh, less less kempt a bit more unkempt I guess would be the word and uh, yeah a bit more bit wild and rugged and savage beast like as opposed to uh, not that more browns for the leather wraps on his hands and arms and legs and such uh, highlights leaving little gaps to allow for the musculature of his arms and things to sh show through oh I used a pen there did you see that little flash of pen to sort of help redefine the uh, the daggers he has uh, carved out of bone bone daggers again so they're not uh, not too civilised uh, these barbarians they're savage they've got bone weapons <laughs> 
bone. And uh, yeah, I used the pen just to refine the uh, what, what the hell they're bloody supposed to look like. <clears throat> because I wasn't happy with it in, under the sketch under the painting. Blocking in the background, uh, which fades up. In a, in a second into grey which is a bit weird but then that's because that's the sort of the mid colour between brown and purple and it's quite a uh, a pale dusty purple is what I was going for I don't know why I chose purple specifically it was just sort of the colour in my head I think uh, on a subconscious level maybe it's because it contrasts with the green of the turtle skin um, and I did want to keep it pale and dusty so it looks like a sort of dusty foggy sky in the background rather than a harsh vivid purple or something um and the dustiness uh, sort of fits with the the dry almost desert kind of ground that they're they're stood on with pebbles and rocks and bones and such i say bones there is a single skull which i'll painting in a second but these are fun bits i always enjoy drawing and painting floors i don't know what it is it's just something sort of interesting about painting shit on floors is you, you do all these bumpy uh forms with all these different shapes and curves and stuff and it's nice to just do a a flat floor now and again i guess um i put a bit more highlighting on cerebus's face just to make that stand out a little bit more so it didn't get lost in the gray of his of his skin um and i painted the skull in there really quick some more highlights on the ground some pebbles and some stones and whatever um this blue glow i wasn't too sure about it i i, I felt like it just needed a, a little pop of color in there um i actually did try to make it glow uh, and then very quickly painted over that so it's just a matte color um and then some dark red painted level with some brighter red because again i do want him to be savage so um i put blood blood coming from his mouth and over his axe as he's just killed someone or something um and i like that but then i think maybe that contrasts too much with the that blue turquoisey kind of glow um and so now for me personally i feel like i've shoved too many colors into it i think it works on the whole as a piece as a final altogether thing but you know it's practice and you live and learn you try to try a thing and you go oh, did that work i don't know fucking whatever don't matter outlines and definition shadows i've said uh quite a few times recently I, i'm trying to use more harsh contrasting shadows as opposed to fading all my colors into lighter and darker versions of themselves um, and i thought this was a good opportunity to do that and where his arms are supposed to be going forwards as opposed to straight up i felt that there would be some shadows cast here and there so i i did add those in uh defining the 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 lines and things of the the leather straps and the fur and corners of eyeballs and nostrils and little shadows here and there and things and just outlining the, the whole shit in general you know whatever and the shadow you can see the shadow on on his uh, on his left hand or our right um I, I think that's quite an effective shadow the one in his armpit i'm a bit about but um that's also a trick to you know if you don't know what details you're supposed to be doing you just throw a bunch of shadow in there and cover it up and it sort of looks kind of effective um, yeah the one on, the, on his other hand looks looks pretty good his hand and wrist there and i also like the shadows on uh, cerebus um i think the shadow under his jaw and on his leg is is pretty effective i'm, I'm happy with those um and then adding in some more details on the stones stuff make those hands out a bit and then little blobs and blotches here and there just for added texture little little bits little things stuff here and there finishing touches and shit a little bit of glow a little bit of rim lighting just for a little bit of added emphasis pull out the form just a little little bit more a little bit of highlight so it doesn't all get lost in the background and such uh, and then i guess we'll do like the the highlight highlights the whites the high light white lights high white light whites um, just to make all the shiny bits shiny and then that's basically it i think 
yeah, scribbling about a little bits here and there. And then I was fucking it. Um, and there's, there's the final piece. You may, may the, the, the sharp ones of you may be able to see that uh, I did add in a few details, maybe even took a few details away. I tidied it all up a little bit um, after I finished recording because I couldn't be bothered to record any more. Uh, and that's the final thing. And I'm really happy with it. I really liked this one. I thought it was, it was good. It was a good fun commission and a good fun painting. And I got a cool looking thing out of it after at the end. And it's all very good. And it's all very good.